video today's video is going to be something new well not technically new but we are just gonna put a new spin on it so I've seen this tag this video this title going around um, on Instagram and here on YouTube called thrift flip it's nothing new really it's just thrifted reconstructions but they're just taking some pieces some are simple so are a little bit more complicated taking that piece that they're thrifted and they're flipping it to be something fun fresh modern that you could bring into the year 2019 so of course on here we love a good thrifted reconstructions we love a good diy so i want to take this concept and run with it so this is a plus size addition to thrift so this is a plus size girl addition to thrift flip but this is no ordinary thrift flip when i sat down and was done with all of the pieces that i've worked on i sat back and looked at the patterns and the colors and i was like this screams 90s so of course i had to take that idea and run with it so this is this video is a totally thrift flip 90s type of world i'm glad i got my girls video i am totally feeling the vibe of this video i got some dope music to go along i got the look together i i mean like i got the little images and I, i'm talking too much so if you guys are interested to see how i took some of these boring basic wholly out of date and some of them even unflattering pieces and change them and reconstruction them and flip them into something dope retro totally my vibe then stay tuned hello stylers so as you can see this is one of the dresses that I picked up and I showed in a live haul that I did back in March I believe this is a very retro 90s 80s type of mom house dress I call it a moo moo dress it's a cross between a moo moo and a dress um I love the pattern the polka dots I love how much material it is but I do not like the shape and fit of it so of course we're gonna take it and flip it and create something new so laying out um this dress I'm just getting a feel and look up look for I instantly see a cami dress so I'm going to use this pattern that I've created uh, for a cami dress and I'm going to start cutting off the sleeves um, with pieces like this I don't take the time to seam rip because I'm not gonna put it back together and I'm not gonna use that material for anything else so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut away the sleeves so I have like almost that cami tank style top And then I'm going to cut away the neckline because, of course, I like to show a little bit more cleave. It's just so much time. I want to show a little bit more chest. This has a higher neckline than um, what I would like on a cami tank dress. So I'm going to cut that away. And then I'm going to seam rip up the back. Um, seam rip the back away from the zipper so that I'm able to cut in that back neckline um, a little bit. So that I am able to cut away at the back just a tad bit. And that's what you can see me doing here. Cutting into that back just to drop that hem a little bit. And then now I'm going to go and I'm going to shorten the zipper in the back by just folding over the tabs. Doing a simple stay stitch, um, a simple X, um, not going into the zipper teeth but doing a simple X or cross stitch. And then I'm gonna cut away the access. And that is one of the quickest way I, that is one of the quickest ways I found on how to shorten a zipper. Next, I'm going to reattach the zipper. Um, sewing that back onto the dress so that I can have that zipper go up the back of the dress again and with this look we're done but you're not going to see the final reveal until the end Next, 
Next up is this floral black and white palm printed dress. This dress was a bit too small, even so small that I couldn't actually show you what it looked like on before. But it has a beautiful pleated skirt and a button up um, style top. Um, I cannot fit the top of the dress at all, but I can fit the skirt of the dress. So I'm just here, I'm just separating the skirt and the top of the dress. Again, these are those quick and simple, easy DIYs where you can cut and fear and cut and not have to worry about seam ripping everything. I am going to seam rip away the buttons um, from the front of the skirt because I didn't like them. I, I don't see a point for them. And then I'm going to seam rip and open the side seams of the waistband where I'm going to take some scrap fabric and insert some panels to give me the width that I need for to fit my hips and waist so that I'm able to fit the skirt. I'm going to take my ruler and I'm just going to measure out that split and how much is split. I've already measured how much space I need and I'm just going to take that the, the, the width of the skirt and then your waist measurements and divide that by two. How the difference, divide the difference by two and then that's how much you need to cut your inserts and panels. And this is a trial area. You probably have to try it on multiple times before you get a nice comfortable fit. I'm going to take those panels and I'm going to sandwich in between the layer on the inside of the fabric. And then I'm on the right side of the fabric, I'm going to do a simple stay stitch. And the reason why I am sewing on the right side of the fabric is so that I can see my seams as I sew. So I can have that as clean and neat as possible. Yes, this will be on my side seams, right under my arms, and a bit of my side rows. So no one will see it, but I want to make it as clean as possible. And with that, you're done. This is a simple. This is the easiest one of all the tutorials. But you again, you won't see that one until the end. Moving on to look three again one of those moo moo dresses this one is in like a um, ditzy floral print I love the print of this a young girl in the savers actually pointed this out to me as I was talking to her about I, how I do custom big out why and when I see this I instantly seen a matching set and top a matching separate a top and a bottom and I actually have you guys voted on whether you want to see the bottom to be some crop pants or a flowy gather skirts so again starting off laying out my material uh, my dress to see how much I have I am actually feeling where the zipper stops because I want to cut this in half I don't want to cut into the zipper so I go and I start at the bottom and I see rip away that zipper from the bottom quite um, a bit these zippers are very long they go all the way down to my butt um, and then I'm going to measure right underneath the the tie that ties at the waistband because I want to make this a crop top so I measure down about two inches um, and plus a half an inch for seam allowance and then I mark that in the middle and I begin to cut where I want to crop my dress but not quite in the middle because I want to give my skirt or my bottom um, material more material than I do my top laying that out I'm looking at it I, I like the shape of this as a loose uh, baggy crop top so I'm not going to change too much about it I am going to cut and remove the tabs and remove the little I don't know what's that called in the back where the zipper and the closure is I am going to open up the neckline because again it's summertime I like showing a little cleavage you know, you gotta let the neck breathe, you gotta let the girls breathe, but keep it classy and cute. Um, moving on, so you guys voted and there was an overwhelming number for people who want to see some crop pants. So I'm using a pattern from a pair of shorts. 
Now, sadly, I, once I laid out my pattern, I realized I did not have enough to make exactly crop pants. So we end up gonna be having some shorts, but the look is gonna come together in the end. So once I cut out my pattern on the folds, I'm gonna lay out my two pieces, my front and back piece. In the same, this is the same pattern and method I used in my summer shorts a few years ago. And I'm going to sew down the seams until I get to that little triangle point, which will become your crotch area. And once you have done that, you're going to take them, pick them up, and fold them the right way. And then you're going to continue down the crotch area. Once I saw how the shorts fit on me, I wanted to gather in the waist, um, but keep the flow and the material open for my hips and butt. So I'm going to create two inch, I'm going to create an inch and a half darts. Um, in the front and the back of the shorts just by gathering up the material and pinning it down and then I'm going to do a simple um, rather loose stitch I'm going to back stitch at the beginning of the dart but I'm going to leave long tails at the end of the dart so I can tie the knot to end up closing off the dart and then I'm going to press that really good with my iron so that the darts lay flat and by doing this this will create um, almost like a um, or billowy effect to the shorts so you get the, the the cinchness of the shorts at the waist but they kind of flare out towards the bottom of the shorts once I've done that I am going to take the hem which I trimmed away from the shorts and I'm going to make a waistband. Um, I have the two halves, the front and the back, and I'm going to attach those with a simple stay stitch in the middle. I'm going to measure that around my waist to, so I make sure I have enough of the rice measurements. And then with right sides together, I'm going to attach that waistband to the top of the shorts with a simple stay stitch. But again, attaching uh, this material right sides together, I'm going to do a simple stay stitch around the circumferences. The, I can't say that word. Around the perimeter of my shorts. Fold that over, press that out away from the shorts, and then I have a waistband. Now I'm going back to the top of this dress, which become my crop top. I am going to go back and I'm going to crop away a little bit more of the top. It was a little bit too long. So I cropped away about another two, three inches away from the top. And I'm going to curve this downward towards the back because I like a little bit more extra length in the back of my shirt and crops and crop top so that I'm able to cover my butt and back side. I did a simple roll and tuck for all of my raw edges. I also added a zipper into my shorts because um, I did not add elastic to my waistband. I inserted a zipper into the back of my shorts. And once that is complete, I went in and refolded down the zipper. I again shortened that zipper the same way that I did the first time, cutting away, folding and tacking it over. And then I'm going to reattach the zipper. And and once again, you will see this at the end of this video. Now, moving on to my favorite, favorite piece. And it is this bright, colorful 
pleated skirt that I thrifted probably like a year ago in the Savers Hall. Um, I, I knew I wanted to be a crop top, but I didn't know exactly how I wanted to go about it and creating a crop top. So I'm going to use my crop top pattern and I'm going to lay this out. This is going to be the front piece and this is going to be on the fold. There's a lot of seams in this skirt. So there's going to be a seam down the middle and the back of this shirt. That's unfortunate, but I think it adds a little bit more character to it. And I always cut a little bit bigger than what my pattern is because um, size does fluctuate and materials are different and the stretch of fabric differs from material to tier material to material and I knew I wanted to be I knew I wanted this to be like a boxy type crop top I'm gonna sew down my back seam and then I'm gonna sew my front and back pieces together and then from the hem of the skirt I am going to create um, like a trim on my sleeves to add a little bit more flair and contrast because it's like a it's almost like a cap sleeve and then i'm just gonna go and do a simple roll and tuck hem and finishing off all of my raw edges and with that stylus we are done these are the final four looks i am so excited they are so dope enjoy